What do you believe are the three uh, challenges that CISO face when securing and managing risk, uh, risk posture, posture at a large financial institution? And uh, uh, Monique, ladies first. Ladies first. All right. Well, thank you for having me. I'm really delighted to be here. It's been lovely um, getting to know both of you in our chat this morning. Um, you know, I think, you know, when you look at the, the um, com complex, and you pretty much said it in your question, the complex network that we are all living in, in a, in a big bank. I mean, HSBC is in, you know, close to 70 countries. We are a retail bank in many of those countries. Um, the, the amount and expansion of, of endpoints and devices on our network is quite large. Um, and so I think probably the most important thing, and there's really three things I would say, is it's to protect that network, but to protect it, I have to know what's on it. And so I think very importantly, having the clear visibility of all the assets that are sitting on my network, that they are indeed the asset that is written in the inventory um, is a very important thing so that I can make sure they're patched and I can make sure that they have the right security controls put upon them. Um, that's probably the most important thing. The second is if, if you know, I, I always say to my team, we have to be right all the time and the, the, the bad guys only need to be right once. And so in the case that the bad guys right want, are right once, how are we ready to defend and how strong are our defenses and how fast can we come to alert and, and defend against it. And then the third and probably the hardest of all of them is talent. And people, people, people run a cybersecurity function. Um, all the technology in the world is only as good as the people that are there to make sure that we install it correctly and keep it up to date. So to me, those are probably the three things I spend my most the most of my time worrying about. Great, Carl? Anything to add, or you are so again? With... Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you for having me here. And uh, yeah, Monique, I've now got to come up with three different ones. So, um, but I, I resonate actually with with what you said. Is it's the complexity of the changing technologies, not only from a cyber perspective, but from a business enablement perspective, as the digitization continues to happen. Not only with you know people say cloud and and whatever, but applications in general, uh, containerization and so forth, and the scale that comes with that. So to sum that up, really, uh, with with the hybrid working, especially, is the attack surface that the bad actor has is just so much more bigger than what it used to be, and it's more disjointed. Um, from our perspective, as to many the things that you said about visibility, logging, control, identity, um, patching, configuration assurance, these are basic things that we've hopefully been doing for years and years, but it's just getting harder and harder with the, with the velocity of that. The other thing that I would obviously add is based on that is the profitability from the bad actor perspective. Um, they continue to monetize and, and uh, yeah, be very successful as we see in the media, right? So the evolution, just as, we're, as businesses are evolving their, their business opportunities, as well as from a cyber perspective, we're defending, but that continuous evolution of the threat actor that to be honest, it's been a trend ever since I started in cyber, and I just don't see that um, yeah, slowing down and it just making it harder for us. Sepio, see what you've been missing.